why people should remove demonic tattoos from their bodies because their bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. I want to bring to your attention, you probably have seen it circulating online, um, a testimony of one of the popular people and stars, I think she goes by name of Black China, about her baptism as well as her conversion to faith and some radical steps she's beginning to take. Like I don't know her personally, so I, don't, I can't comment on the genuineness of what's happening. It does seem like she genuinely encountered God and got water baptized last year and then now she's in the process of reversing a lot of surgeries that she had as well as removing tattoos. So that really caught my attention. So in here we actually see um, an article that has her Instagram post embedded. Let's just look at her water baptism. This happened last year. So on her birthday she decides to get water baptized. Let's watch this. That's super awesome. Water baptism is public dedication of private decision. She has an interview here um, with a Fox um, and friends. Let's just watch a few minutes of what has happened to her. You know her as a reality star, Black China, but she's reconnecting with God and not shying away from her newfound beliefs, revealing she was recently born again after getting baptized on her 34th birthday. Her new journey prompting her to make a complete lifestyle change by quitting OnlyFans, calling it degrading, reversing all of her plastic surgery and now embracing her birth name again. Angela White, also known as Black China, joins us now. Angela, it's so great to have you on the show today. Your, your birth name is Angela, which means messenger from God and angel. Um, so we're going to be referring to you as your new name and we love it. So tell us about this journey. What is it? Um, when did you g get born again? How did you come to this transformation? It's quite remarkable. Hello, good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> um, good morning. So honestly, I got, I got baptized on my birthday. So I was reborn on my birthday, and this was last year of 2022. And, and Angela, yeah. tell us, you know, tell us why this was important, not just to be born again, but also to walk away from so much that you'd embraced over the last mm -hmm. couple of years, OnlyFans and, for that matter, plastic surgery. Why was it important to make that change in lifestyle? It was really important for me, not only just for myself, but spiritually, and I really want to set an example for my daughter, Dream. You know, I want to make sure that, you know, anything that I do, like I want to be a positive reflection on her life and the generations to come. And That's so good. And then she goes on talking about her um, example to her daughter, that she wants to be an example, that the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, that the body is not for a sexual immorality, you know, and so she actually went and did some surgeries to remove the parts that she added to her body. And then uh, there's this thing about the tattoo. So let's watch just a short clip about her going to remove her tattoo. Yes, to remove the tattoo. Yep, the reversals keep coming from Black China. I'm still on my healing journey. On Sunday, the model who now goes by her birth name, Angela White, shared the process of getting this demonic tattoo removed from her hip. Y'all know that I have this Baphomet tattoo, right? So it got to come off, you know what I mean? I'm not about to have no mark of the beast, anything like that. In the caption, Black China explains Bamphomet's link to the occult and Satan, claiming the deity's goal is to create and spread chaos, abuse, and torment his victims. When I first got um, the tattoo, that is not what it meant to me. You know what I mean? And regardless of what it is, I just don't want anything negative or demonic on my body anymore. In the clip, the reality if you look at her going to the um, yes. to remove the tattoo here, um, she actually gives a very good information about the Baphomet 
um, the full name Baphomet, Baphomet, Ali, Elias, or um, other names, Elias, Elias, um, Satan, the devil, um, Lilith, um, I mean, goat of lust, Azaz, Azazel goat, or, origins, demonology, occupation, pretty much what the Baphomet is doing, corruption, possession, immor, um, immor immortality, dark powers, intelligent necromancy, mi mind control, goals, create and spread chaos, abuse and torment his victims, crimes and spiritual corruption and brainwashing, symbolic corruption. I see my friend Daniel leaving a comment here. Now, this is crazy that the fact that she goes in and actually wants to remove this tattoo from her body. So not only she cancels her only fans where uh, I looked at the Google was making her millions of dollars and one after her conversion she says I want to leave a legacy for my family and I want to be an example to my daughter and by teaching her you know to treat the body as the temple of the Holy Spirit and not to show it there as a sex object and not to take part in that. Like I don't know what else she does with her life and her beliefs and everything but I just want to highlight this part of removing demonic tattoos from your body. Now I know quite a few people that get saved and a lot of times they still keep those tattoos and they actually ask a question, should I keep them or should I not? And sometimes actually to remove the tattoo is very expensive and painful and so but I think that if you have a demonic tattoo on your body you should remove it. And so I'm just going to highlight a little bit about the Baphomet, um, the image that she is removing from her body and because some people put this on their body. They put demons and all of this stuff. Like if you look at the history, so the name Baphomet actually goes back to um, 1100s to the Knight Templar, French Chronicles of the Crusaders who confessed to worshiping a hidden idol named Baphomet. And some scholar believes that Baphomet was simply a corruption of the prophet Muhammad. And so, but if you see this, Sat 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 Church of Satan actually puts it in their temple and that becomes their kind of a symbol of representation. And you got two kids looking at this crazy statue. You know, the breasts were removed and then you see the pentagram, the cross put upside down. I mean, this stuff is straight up demonic. And so this is really the symbol of Satanism, say the symbol of Satan. And so when people put stuff like this on their bodies, they need to remove this stuff after they give their life to Christ. So I just want to encourage each and every one of you, for those of you who are maybe just coming to Jesus Christ and you have maybe markings on your body or you have different statues or images um, or clothing that have purely demonic imagery, um, that you honestly get rid of that stuff. Um, if this Black China, which is An Angela White, I think is her original name, if she took that step after her water baptism and she starts to disconnect from the OnlyFans accounts, from also the other surgeries that she was, um, you know, doing to make herself look more like a sexual object and, you know, to funnel money and, you know, to be an actress and all of this stuff, which, you know, a lot of people do today. And so, and she said, hey, I don't want to do that anymore. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I want to be the way God made me to be. I want to take care of my body. I want to be an example to my daughters. I think that all the women who are watching this, we need to take heed to that, that we, you know, don't disfigure our body trying to look particular way and also for all the men as well, for those of you who mark your body with demonic imagery that you remove those things. I have a video about tattoos, why you shouldn't get a tattoo, both you know not just spiritual reasons but also medical reasons and other reasons why I believe that our body shouldn't have tattoos. Um, if you have a tattoo that's your decision but at the same time if you have a demonic tattoo on your body, I really want to encourage you to consider if you want to have no open doors to demons, you know, consider removing that stuff so that your body will be a temple of the Holy Spirit. I hope that this was a blessing to you. This is an encouragement. I'm excited to see more and more of people that are turning to Christ and are turning away from demonic stuff, turning away from demonic images, uh, turning away from serving the devil and being a tools and instruments in the devil's kingdom. God bless you guys. Till next time, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this testimony and, um, and if you have any 
images on your body or in your possession that are demonic that you need to remove. Share that below in the comments and uh, until next time.